Gospelchops.com. Welcome back. Today we got a special feature, Mr. James Booyah Richard. He is the main bassist at Axful Gospel Church in Oakland, California. He is also the bassist for Demetrius Tollfree, uh, Tashina Danielle, and Derek Hall and company. Today he's going to show us a few exercises on the bass that will help us build our bass chops. Thanks for coming in and sharing with us. Mr. James Booyah Richard, what you got for us today? What's up, Gospel Chops? Uh, first, I just want to show you guys an easy exercise that I know helped me when I first started playing bass. It, um, it helps your technique and it helps you have better control of all your fingers. Um, this is something that you should do as often as you can. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I have two, two separate techniques I'm going to show you. The first one I'll show you is a technique that you want to uh, use as often, like to say, as often as you can. You want to put your fingers in each fret. You want to use each finger, each fret. And the exercise I'm going to do is starting at the first fret, and I'm going to work my way up to the twelfth fret, which on most of your bases should be the double dots. And um, here we go. I'll show you. That's the technique. If you want to do this, this technique all the way up to your twelfth fret, but each time you get to the fourth note you want to start with your first finger a half step up something like this so this is something that you want to do all the way up to your 12th fret as, as much as you can I'll show you first I'll start off slow and I'll start off a little faster So once you get to this 12th fret, after you practice that enough times, then you want to go backwards. And when going backwards, it's the same thing as going forwards. You just want to move down a half step with your first finger, which in this case would be this finger. as often as you can up and down the scale each 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 string whether it's a four string five string six string it's a good exercise to have better control of all your fingers this finger is usually the hardest finger to have the con most control of I still struggle with some time myself but eventually you know God willing it'll work out so that's one exercise you can work on you can do it as fast as you can next exercise I'm going to teach you is the same thing. It's, it's basically using shout music. The same same technique is using basic church shout music. The only difference in, is just used as, at this point as a technique that I, I use. So um, you can start off at the first fret here and what you want to do is the same technique for. But in, instead of going left to right, you want to go top to bottom. So 
the same thing you can do this up and down the fret move a half step over and you can go top to bottom backwards and forwards just another quick technique that you know help you have more control of your fingers I mean it's not necessarily just for gospel but it helps you have technique as a bass player and that's something I know each bass player should want to have is good technique so just that simple gospel church shout music I'm gonna play it and I'm gonna show you some little things that I do inside that same those same eight notes I'm going to do some other things inside those eight notes to do some different notes that you can try, you know, as you get better technique with your finger. First one, kind of quartet style, not too fast, just, you know, so the mothers to shout. Hey, flat. <laughs> Same thing, like I said, showing how you do how to use some other notes inside of that. Just, just using, it, make sure you're coming back to A flat on time. And so we're gonna do a little faster, you know, not not as fast as East Coast, but working your octaves. So you, if you got the four, if you A flat. help you know keep it moving and not get boring you know because this can become boring but I'm gonna show you a little something they gonna help me out hey fly a little fast bless you and you'll retain and learn some things and hopefully I can come back to you with something else something better and just being myself all right mm -hmm.